Well, hello there. This is the Paul Mash Show today. As you remember, Paul Mash Show is different than Paul Mash TV. Uh, this is where I do the non music side of things, and it's kind of a rare thing I do from time to time. And we got a great interview coming up in just a moment, but don't forget about those bell buttons and subscribe buttons below you there. And you'll always be notified of any new episodes coming your way. So uh, be sure to do that, and also uh, leave a comment on the comment section, and also check out the description. We'll have contact info for you there, and our contact info will be at the end of closing credits at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. From Houston, Texas today, we have David Bourne. He is a Robin Williams tribute, and I know we all remember Robin. He was a very funny guy, and uh, this guy is just as funny, and he looks and sounds just like him. And uh, we're going to get to that in just a second because it starts right after this. So don't go away. We'll be right back. The Caden Gordon Show. Today's best country mix is a two-hour show playing independent and mainstream country music you know and love. Be sure to check it out at thecadengordonshow.com for more information on the show. Ever thought about owning your own business? Tanya Lapsley-Cockett did. She decided a little over five years ago that she was going to be an entrepreneur, so she started her travel business. Tanya is married and works a full-time job. Her business has given her amazing opportunities. Not only does she get to help people create memories by booking their vacations, sporting and entertainment tickets, rental cars, etc., but it has also allowed her to help other families create legacy income. The travel industry is extremely lucrative and is an $8 trillion industry. The travel industry is projected to earn in excess of $15 trillion over the next 10 years. The travel industry pays its professionals up to 70 to 80% commission on the travel that they book for themselves and their clients. As a travel business owner, Tanya books travel and teaches others how to own and operate their own travel business. She is a director in training on the marketing side of her business where she has helped over 90 families start their own businesses. If you're interested in owning your own travel business, please contact Tanya at 917-743-1199 or at ladytlc3555 at me.com. Okay, uh, we're back, and with us from Houston, Texas today, we have David Bourne. He's a Robin Williams tribute, and uh, as you can tell, you, you know, you look a lot like him, uh, David. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> you know? Is that you know, that's right, Paul. I've been getting this for a very long time. <laughs> and you walk in and try to buy a Coke, and people go, wow, they dropped the change. I'm like, easy, down, boy, down. Yeah, wow. this, uh, I, uh, yeah, that's right. David Bourne, uh, Robin Williams, professional Robin Williams tribute artist and impersonator, uh, uh, do a tribute act to Robin Williams and have been compared to Robin Williams actually since I was in high school. Mm-hmm. And that's when I went out, but I'd never even seen Robin Williams before in my entire life. I was just in a drama class riffing, going crazy with all my friends, reenacting Cheech and Chong scenes from Big Bamboo, man. And, and all of a sudden, man, I went to a McDonald's one day and a girl dropped, freaked out. She screamed at me. She went, <laughs> Ah, it's smoke, it's smoke. I said, What's smoke? She goes, You look like that actor from Moke and Mindy. Because, wait a minute, you ain't Moke, you look just like Mark. She thought I was Robin Williams. I mean, woman just about just about lost her cheese, and I'd never even seen it before. I was skinny, long hair, talking real fast. Robin, about nine years older than me. And from there on, we were off to the races with the comparisons. I mean, I couldn't go through a day without being compared to Robin. And I was just trying to buy Coke. <laughs> now it turned into a career. How about that? Yeah, that's right. I, I because you look so much like him, that's why you wanted to give back, you know. Because uh, I, I know you're very good at what you do. Um, what were some of the uh, actors besides Robin that you really looked up to? Did you have any comedians that you loved uh, when you were growing up? Oh, absolutely. You know, Richard Pryor was just the greatest, and Cheech and Chong. You know, Tommy Chong and Cheech Moran are fantastic, and. Uh, and I love them. Big inspirations with them, of course. Then, of course, George Carlin, hysterical, just great wit, you know, really funny stuff. Those are the comedians that, that really inspired me a lot, you know. And as time went on, I appreciate all kind of, you know, wit that guys have. I love the Redneck Tour guys and all their kind of jokes they did, those trio of fellas. And uh, there's been a bunch out there. And, of course, Robin Williams, you know. But 
But yeah, there was a lot of them that influenced me uh, before I hit Robin. I mean, even Flip Wilson back from the early days. I like crazy weird stuff. <laughs> so yeah, so we were we were doing the Flip Wilson female character long before we did Mrs. Don't fire, dear. No, of course, that was in full latex, not full drag. Well, that's not true, dear. It was actually drag with latex. No, it's right, latex. <laughs> I, did a, I did a gig once, man, but it was a corporate film. I swear to God, I did hundreds of corporate films. Once they said, we're going to have this guy's going to have a dream. And the dream, Mrs. Doubtfire is telling him how to do things like, you know, the EPA rules for managers and ooh, how to handle complaints against, you know, and the, all these different kind of things. And so I was, this guy did full latex on me and the whole outfit. And we had to drive from one place to another. And I went inside my bank and they, I, I thought they thought I was going to rob the place, man. I walked in the door and they all opened the door for me. And <laughs> I walked up to the counter because it was working at a theater and I had to cash my check there because it was real close. And I had to pick up this check on the way from one location to the next in full drag. And she looked at me and I slid it down. I go, I'm not what I am. She goes, Mr. Bourne. I went, yes, dear. When I left, they opened the doors for me and helped me out. It was hysterical, man. I look like Mrs. Dot firing that latex if it was a nightmare. That's for sure. Mm. But uh, I met the woman who did the latex makeup for Robin Williams in a movie I did as an actor. And it was an actor. I've been in over 80 movies and television shows and 100 plays and and dozens of things is Robin Williams I performed on. And boy, it follows me on set. I was working on The Highwaymen with Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson and had a nice part in that. And B. Nell was the makeup artist. And she saw the similarity between me and Robin during a scene once. And I asked her what her connection was to Robin. And she thought, said, Paul, she goes, well, I did his makeup. I had him in the chair every day, you know. Mm -hmm. I put the latex on him. And it was Academy Award winning makeup artist B. Nell. And I was like, well, that's cool. So we had a lot to share. and. So that yeah, it's kind of interesting how it started out. Yeah, man, I've been a lot of comedy, a lot of guys influenced me, and you know, but I stayed away from Robin when I saw him. And it's a serious actor training to be, you know, unique. When I saw a guy who was just like me in every way, after watching me in two movies, I did, I refused to watch Robin Williams movie for ten years. Mm -hmm. I would not look at his stand up comedy. I would not look. I would turn the channel if it came on. Not because I didn't like him, because I was very serious about training myself as an actor. But it still didn't matter. Because all the theater plays I did and commercials and crazy, goofy corporate films was like Robin Williams on steroids. <laughs> no, and then I wasn't even trying, man, you know. But eventually I got to the point where I did try. And that's well, how we well, ended up here today. Well, it is too bad that you never got to meet him, you know. I mean, uh, I, I bet he would have been flyer to meet you, David. Oh, I, I, oh, I did get to meet Robin Williams. Oh, you did you okay. hear, hear my Robin Williams story? Oh, God, yes. Yeah, so, you know, I was actually doing, because I'm a member of Actors' Equity and Screen Actors Guild and been doing this stuff forever. And, and I started doing a little tribute to Robin when I got in my mid-late 30s. And long at the age of 42, Robin came in concert at a 2,500-seat arena, and he did his Warning Parental Advisory Tour, which I draw a lot of stuff from from my R15 tribute show that I do. Not in that order, but I mix it up. And he came through and did the show, and I got a ticket last minute and sat way in the back and laughed for two hours. And afterwards, I went backstage and thought, well, maybe I'll get a view of him to come out. And hell, he walked right up to the metal gate. This is 2002. And about 40 people were out there. And we heard it to the gate. And this guy stood up and said, everybody relax. Robin's going to come out and sign something for anyone who wants an autograph and take a picture with anyone who's got a camera. You're all going to get something. Just hang out. And and they did. And Robin came out and signed for everybody going, thank you. After two hours of comedy. All you get is, like, <laughs> don't talk much, you know. So I walked up to him, and, and and this guy who was my usher, man, he goes, you're that guy I see it. I told you, you look so much like Robin Williams. I said, well, thanks, man. He goes, I got a camera. You take a picture with Robin, I'll take one with you, dude. And this was when we had to take pictures with cameras, get the film developed, and hope it comes out right. Yes, old days. Yeah. And so I took a picture of my brother and I walked up to Robin. This was my story. And so I walked up and finally got to him. You know, I said, Hey, Robin Williams, said, nice to meet you. My name's David Bourne. I'm a professional actor. I've been doing this forever. And I'm, you know, I can't done, done any job with that ever being compared to you in the last 25 years. I can't even go out and take a piss without someone you'd pee. And just like Robin Williams, said, it doesn't matter what I do. So I do a trick, you know, a thing to you. In fact, I said, you know, but it, it doesn't matter. If it, thanks for stealing all my thunder. I kind of rambled something like that. Thanks for stealing all my thunder. And Robin, looked at me like run back to signing so i said recover recover so i mentioned that i said man i'm also a member of the screen actors guild so on behalf of the, the local guild welcome to houston brother 
And he stopped. He goes, what What are you saying? I said, I'm saying I'm a professional actor, brother. I'm a fellow union member. And Robin stopped and he went, oh, in that case, it's nice to meet you, David. Robin Williams. He said, he leaned in, he goes, everybody here meets a freaking actor. I said, I bet they are, man. He goes, what do you do? And so I've been at Walker, Texas Ranger many times and Prison Break and all these different movies and TV shows. And we chatted about it. And he just shot this breeze with me, man. And and I said, well, how do you how do you get work being compared to me? I said, well, I compared to you so much. I started doing a little impersonation of you. I said, but I'm not always trying to be you. I said, I'm just really being myself, man. They need a high energy type. It gets me booked. It gets me corporate films. It gets me commercials. And it just I said being compared to you has been interesting. I said, it's but it's also got me a lot of work. Mm-hmm. And Robin, Robin was great. He said, I'll tell you what, David, I'll never forget what he said. He goes, look, man, I got a lot of stuff coming on next year. Anything I say or do is helping to get you work and more power to you boss go get them um thanks man i appreciate it he goes no absolutely dave way to way to go for it and he said can i get a picture so i got a picture with him and he signed my poster and hung out and the way he went after a while and we I, I stuck i stayed there till nobody was left on the sidewalk but me and him he signed my ticket and took off and i said by the way bro great show tonight robin so thanks man yo they all took off and i went what just happened but uh it was amazing when i saw him live and they got to meet him and he was so sweet and generous to everybody. And I got to see him again in 2009. At that point, I was doing the tribute full tilt and went, hmm, gotcha. I think I've got it now. And um, it's, a re- it's theater. My show that I do is a recreation of theater. I used to do a lot of meet and greet. Don't do as much meet and greet. I did one last Saturday, though. I sure did. Mm. Because of just, you know, Robin's history and what happened. But the tribute shows have been coming back, which is what I'm mainly doing is the live tributes. Yeah. Well, you got quite a story there, David. And uh, uh, tell everybody uh, how we can find out uh, more info on you. I mean, I guess you got an official site. Maybe you could tell us about your Facebook if you're on any kind of social media site like streaming media or anything like that. I mean, tell us the whole uh, kit and caboodle. We'd love to hear. Absolutely. I think we on Instagram, you can find me at uh, Robin Tribute. I'm on www.robinwilliamsimpersonator.com. Facebook is David Robin Williams Born. My good friend Angela that we are working with and doing this show today, please go to her website, which is make sure you make sure you plug the website for me, bro. Uh, that's what we're doing here. So uh, basically, I'm still doing the show out of Houston where we're doing it fine. We're getting it done. It goes uh, 60 to 70 minutes. I can go R rated PG-13. I just got back from Florida a couple of weeks ago and it went great and was uh, in Canada recently. And I've taken it all the way down to cruise ships. So. It's coming back, everybody. So coming to a show now, you, Robin Williams Tribute Act. And it's theater. I stay in character the whole time we do the show. And uh, it's a mixture of stuff from some of his most popular shows mixed in with a few bits of original material and stored around for a completely unique Robin Williams comedy experience. But believe me, a lot of it you've heard before, and you'll be happy you did. Okay, well, do what uh, David said and uh, check out that on his website and all those social media sites and so forth. Uh, I know he would love uh, meeting you. And, and if, you, uh, if you're if you like a concert promoter or something like that, you want to book him, uh, you know, go to there and you can email him and get him on one of your concert shows or something like that. And I think you even have concert dates uh, coming up that you can probably check out. So, uh, uh, so pay attention to that. Um. And we're going to watch this video here. It's kind of like a, a demo of some of the things he's done. You, you've been on, like, Tim and Eric Awesome Show, Great Job. You've been on uh, Family Feud and so forth. And I've seen a few of me before I met you, and they're, they're really funny stuff. So we're going to check that out in just a minute. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add about the video before we watch it? <laughs> oh, it's just going to be a few samples of some of my television work, or well, from the TV show Community, ABC's reality show, The Next Best Thing, a couple of appearances I have on that. And uh, some of the TV appearances. And there's a few bits of my stand-up comedy that I've done across the country. You'll be seeing some of the PG-13 material, but it goes R-rated, too, on request. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, David, we want to thank you so much for coming today. Um, uh, maybe maybe you can come back sometime if you'd like to plug something new for us. And uh, we'd love to have you back. <laughs> Appreciate it, brother. Thanks again, my man. Yo, yo. Okay, and here it is, uh, the demo reel with David Bourne as Robin Williams, and it begins right now. Tell me who they look like! Doc, Doc, who's there? It's your femur bone, he needs some money. He's broke. Oh, okay. Laughter's <laughs> <laughs> the best medicine. What, what, what are you doing? I'm challenging your entire medical establishment, sir. Not you. Come what on. is it? It's a present, come open it. 
What is this? <laughs> Good morning, Tim, baby. <laughs> Came on, a good show, man. Good show, because you deserve it. My Botox and the real Silicon Valley. You know what I mean? I think you do. You just ripped it down. Oh, check it out over here. It's a beautiful day. Yes. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, man. What is this? Uh, I got you, Robin Williams. Oh, oh, hi. What? I don't get it. What is this? Yes, baby. Yes. Hello, Robin. Yes. yes. Robin Williams. That's right, baby. Please introduce me to your posse. Absolutely, here we got the king of cool, Mr. Denzel Washington, That's baby. Right. Yes, That's right. The feud. All right. Name something you wonder about an attractive man you see on the street. Robin. Is he married? Is he married? <laughs> Is he married? Yeah. Pass the play. We're gonna play, gonna play. Head on back. The next best thing. Well, after those four train wrecks, my money's on this guy. It's great to be here in beautiful Los Angeles, California. I'm a Botox in the original Silicon Valley. That's right. <laughs> hey, I like you over there. You're nice. Well, you're a nice little girl, aren't you? Yeah, you're the kind of girl I take home the mom, if I could trust Dad. Whoa, welcome <laughs> to Hollywood! And the semifinals of The Next Best Thing. Hello, my children. How are you this day? Welcome to Los Angeles, home to nine million people. Well, the fastest part of your commute is backing down your driveway. Whoa, that's it. Hey, Robin, you got enough energy to tell the folks what's coming up? Liza Minnelli, without makeup, it's a first. Oh. Please welcome to the show this morning, Mr. Robin Williams! Yes, to whatever she asks. 